Hi kids, let's read today Small by Clara Volumi. Small, a brave little mouse on a very big adventure. Tom is going to stay the night at Granny's. For the very first time, he finds his little suitcase under the bed. Tom has a lot of important packing to do. I will need my pens and my torch, my red slippers, and my blanket, and my best book of dinosaurs. And of course, I'll need small. The suitcase is now so full, Tom can't even close the lid. He takes everything out and puts it all back in again, and again, and again. At last, the suitcase is shut, and Tom is ready to go. When Tom arrives at Granny's, everything is just right. He has his own toy cupboard, and all his favorite things for tea. He eats chocolate in the bath, and even bounces on Granny's bed. There's extra stories at bedtime, and lots of good night kisses. Tom snuggles down, but suddenly Tom remembers Small. Small, he whispers. Small isn't there. He's not under the pillow or under the bed. He's not in the suitcase. Small must have been left at home. Tom curls up. He closes his eyes tight and he tries to get to sleep. He thinks about Small back at home in his bedroom, sad and lonely in the dark. Small can't sleep either. Where's Tom? He whispers. He climbs up the curtain. He squeezes through a tiny gap in the window. He's down in the street, running. Small runs and he runs. He's climbing and tumbling, and the rain pours down, and the howling wind pushes him back. He leaps over puddles. He trips and falls. Poor Small. He's cold and tired, and scared. But he doesn't stop. He keeps running and running out of the city, on and on through the dark, dark woods. And just when he can bear no more, Small arrives at Granny's house. Upstairs, Tom opens his eyes. He creeps out of bed. He peeps round the door. It's all dark and strange. Tom feels scared, but he has to find Small. Ever so quietly, he tiptoes down the stairs. He sees a light from the kitchen, and he can hear Granny humming a song. Tom, is that you? She says. Step by step, he inches. Nearer the front door, and there underneath, the letter box is small. Tom scoops him up and hugs him tight. "You found me," he says into his chilly, velvety ear. "He's so small he could have been there all along," says Granny as she takes them back to bed. But Tom doesn't say anything. Tom knows now. They both know that everything is all right, and as they snuggle back down in bed, Tom. Whispers to Small, "I'll keep you safe forever." Good night, kids. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel.